This episode on Sailing Papau. All the water leaked out of there, went down all these wire holes, filled all these covers with water. So it happened 20, 10 years ago, rain and four days. The rail is back up. I just wanted to show you the, the standing wave effect. We've been stuck in this river for a week now, at least, with this east coast low that's been hanging off New South Wales coastline. Um, we've had torrential rain. Uh, the wind's not been that bad, really, like 30 knots maybe, but just the amount of rain we've gotten has been insane. And there is like logs and floating debris. There's a barrel over there on the bank. There's just junk everywhere. Like every night it's just like dunk. Dun, dun. You hear all the little logs hitting the hull and yeah, Michael's just come out here now. He had the engine down yesterday, he was working on it, trying to fix it. It's just caught like so much stuff. Anyway, we'll show you. Here, I'll film you. So, all of that, that's actually like grass and stuff that's just got caught around the engines and it's there's so much of it. It's actually coming out the back. I can't believe how much stuff there is. Look, there it goes. So I don't think we're going to be diving for a while. The whole east coast is like this apparently. We've got a cyclone coming next week. In other news, Michael, what's going on with the engine? <laughs> no idea? No spark. We don't know. Michael's been working on this for two days trying to figure it out. Somewhat escalated out here, Michael. What's going on? Oh, this wire coming out of the CDI, the ground wire was just like, I just kept chasing it. It just crumbles to nothing. Corroded. Yeah. All the way back. So I've only got this tiny little tail and that's the best wire I could find. I can't really go any further. So I'm just trying to solder this, get this connector on. Good news is we had heaps of rain last night, filled our tanks with rainwater. It's a bad news, Michael. So the, the line that directs the water maker water straight into the tanks that I've tapped into the main water filling line up there, because we had so much rain last night, we had the tarp set up to fill the tanks up. The tanks filled up because we had so much rain and that pipe was full of water. Obviously it's not a pressure seal, so all the water leaked out of there and then drained up on this window like this backrest here went down all these wire holes filled all these covers with water and they also run down into this main water tank area here and filled this with water as well bloody nightmare so we've just been playing around all day transferring water into jerry cans so we can dry underneath and now just as lifted up this tank and noticed that there's a little dark patch of timber here. It's only small, but you just tap it. It's, it's, I don't know if it's rotten yet, but it's definitely waterlogged. So we'll have to take the glass up, dry it out, have yeah. a look. Before it becomes a big job. Before it gets big, but anyway, it's good that we caught it now. Did you notice any under that one? Well, we're definitely going to check, but let's deal with this side first. So I think what we'll do, we'll just take that tank okay. out completely and then we'll work with whatever we need to do on that side. And then we can still use this tank and everything's as per normal. And then that side, once that's sorted, we'll put that tank in, decommission this one, do the same thing. All our food's out, everything, all our um, emergency rations are in here. I may have opened that under stress. So it's been raining here for the last three days basically. And the, the current, it's just flooding everywhere. So the tides here are huge. It's so trippy watching the rain fall because it's moving as it's falling. So it looks like we're actually moving somewhere. You can see the little weight behind the boat from the current and it's filthy as well. 
Michael's in there trying to chip away the fiberglass with the air bubbles and putting some metho on it to dry it up. A little bit annoying. We've got nothing else to do though. So this is real boat life here. <laughs> just trying to dry this out from yesterday, all the rain that we had. Michael's just found heaps of water in that cupboard. So he's just emptying that out. Also trying to figure out how that water's getting in there. Just discovered that this hatch up the front here, um, it's leaking a little bit. With a break in the weather, we made the most of the sunshine to try and dry everything out. Don't even know how long this will last for. I'm trying to dry all the lounges. They're so damp from being locked up for three days. Got all the hatches open, trying to air it out. Cushions, blankets, towels. Real boat life for you. That's what happens when you get 10 years worth of rain in four days. Unfortunately, it didn't last long before another front moved in. Michael, you're looking pretty happy with oh, yourself. It's not working. What was it, that cable? Yeah, the CDI ground cable was wood. How good are you? Pretty good. <laughs> happy with yourself? Well, it's back up. <laughs> yeah. Well, I know the motor inside out even better now. <laughs> All right, Michael. Ready? For the test run? How's that current? It's so loud. Alright, do it. <laughs> Yay! Nice work. Anyway, good job. Now we can sit here and wait for this weather to pass. Ugh, we are pretty much going out of our minds. I've got the edit stations running here and we've actually had to have the generator on all day. <laughs> now what am I going to do with myself? Uh, oh, I reckon I could find you a few things. What's on the list? hoping was going to miss us is coming straight for us and it's getting pretty freaking wild out there right now. I'm pretty, pretty nervous to be honest. There is so much lightning, it is insane. Are you doing sitting in the dark there Michael? I was waiting for the storm to go past. What have we done in preparation for the storm? Just unplugged all the expensive electronics. Mm -hmm. You've put the laptops in a pelican case. I don't know. I don't know if that does enough. anything. <laughs> nothing. Turn the gas off. We isolated the batteries. Turn the gas off. Turn the batteries off. I don't know if that does anything either. Looks like it's pretty much gone. place what's it called Stuart Point Stuart's Point they have a cafe a pub a bottle shop and a grocery store so pretty cool 
pretty stock standard Australian town. This used to open up to the ocean, so it would have been absolutely beautiful, but it's been cut off now. And yeah, it's just, just the end of the creek, basically. Well, the boat's there. Bottle is there. And that's it. <laughs> oh, well, got the vitals. Michael's got the beverages. Liquid. Keep us occupied. Hydrate, hydration. Occupied for another week of rain. <laughs> Ice there. cream, milk, eggs, bread, and a few fresh veggies, but these places are always super expensive, so try to avoid buying anything we don't need to. After being held hostage by the rain for almost two weeks, we took the first opportunity to stretch our legs and went for a vital provision run and to check out the surf at the river mouth. across the bar when the tide's running out and the swell's coming in the two forces fight each other and they actually just stand up and you can see it here it's not as bad as it was before but it's just like a uh, it's like the water's just running over a, a speed bump basically yeah so they don't behave like a normal wave because they're obviously just being slowed down by that outgoing tide so they just kind of sit there and crumble on itself and yeah it's pretty uh it's not a good time to cross the bar it's why you always come on the incoming tide with incoming waves so everything's going the same direction can you tell everybody why we're stuck here at the moment because there's obviously people going out through the bar now yeah well so in a small fast boat that can outrun the waves and outrun the current it's no problem because you can dictate where you want the boat to go but for the sailboat you know the max speed we can go is eight knots and we're going to be going out on an incoming tide, so you'll be fighting the current and the waves. So you, your max speed is dropped down, and uh, you just you just need to uh, keep going. You can't really choose a direction. You can't outrun any waves going in or going out. There's a sector light up there. I don't know if you can see it. That red light that tells you exactly where you need to go. So at this bar, that side all along there, you can see where it stands up. That's all a big sandbar, so you don't want to go that way. And then out here, to this side is a shallow beach break. So you basically want to go follow this rock wall straight out. And that lead light actually tells you where to go. But you can see here, still standing up, still messy as, and they're real short, steep waves. Michael's just about to launch the drone. We sat here for hours, enjoying the sunshine and watching the surfers carve up these chocolate barrels. this mess you've made down here that is your leftover prawn toast so or kratos so 
I just defrosted what was left and I'm making spring rolls out of it. So I'm going to do one batch with the original recipe and the other batch I've added grated carrot, chopped up water chestnuts, some chives and vermicelli noodles. So I'm going to give that a fry up now and see what it tastes like. Alright, do this and fry it up. Yum. What do you think, Michael? Good. Yummy. The plain ones or the additional extras? Uh, I think the additional. Definitely. Definitely for me, that's a winner. And I used a soy sauce as well. The sweet chilli just doesn't taste right with it. But they're quite nice. Join us next episode as we dive into the longest underwater cave in the Southern Hemisphere. Find a bunch of bananas that give us a serious bout of bad luck. And then I get stung in the face. Oh, this is so freaking painful. <laughs> and have a very close call with being lost at sea. I'm gonna swam for it. Babe, we're fine here, okay? And then I started taking waves and I just started paddling just to try to get me off that rock. If you're new to our channel, be sure to subscribe, turn on the notifications and give us a thumbs up. It all helps. Thanks again to our patrons for your ongoing support and welcome aboard, Tris. Cheers. That's how much rain we got last night. There is, I don't know, four inches in there. Ugh. More bloody rain. Where's that normally, Michael? <laughs> it's like a fart. It's insane. Real good time, Michael. <laughs> oh dear. Hey, Michael. What? Did you catch anything? He's <laughs> so angry right now. <laughs> <laughs> I told you not to go. Oh. Serious mosquito issue right now. <laughs> Look at them all. That is insane. They're just everywhere.